All right, on the inside panel, you will find the instructions for activating the keypad, which are program, run, yes, and enter. Uh, bear in mind, you'll have to use this code anytime you want to set uh, or modify the schedule, the bell schedule that is. So enter, you can see here that the keypad is now active. And the display has not changed. We'll hit the program key to set a time. And it wants to know if we want to delay. We never want to delay, so we'll hit no. And now we're prompted with the clock. So here, we can press the no button until we get the hour that we need to use. We're going to set the time today for 1.40 p.m. So we're going to get our hour up to 1 p.m. Now that we have that, we can hit yes. So we'll just save that. You have to excuse me for a second. I'm checking the time to make sure I've got it correct. And yes, we've set our hour. Now our minutes are blinking, so we're going to hold down the no button until the program scans to 40. So we'll give that just a second. All right, we hit yes to set that. And our seconds are prompting. We don't need to mess with that, so we can hit yes. Now, Monday through Friday, once you hit yes, we'll, we'll flash. Now we can set the schedule. We're going to be setting today's bell for the fourth schedule. And yes. Now these switches along the bottom, I will just set it where somebody marked it in pencil. And we're going to set this to a pulse. And the default is three seconds. So we're going to hit yes there. Once everything is flashing, you need to hit enter. And you've successfully configured an alarm. You can hit run at any time.